depressing. We are now depressed. Tape is rolling. What the hell was that mess in the background? <laughs> all right, fuck awesome Friday, getting ready to begin. Quiet on the sit, everybody, quiet on the sit, getting ready to go live. Zoom Room Video Communications brought to you by the BMC. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. In no other better freaking place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch, with no other than the dynamic duo, Laz and Jack. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so don't have to that's right bringing you our own brand of news right here inside and outside shot of the avatar five days a week for your viewing and or listening pleasure welcome to today's show boys and girls yep for some reason i'm stuck on the uh zoom room i don't know why i don't know what'd you do I don't know, I'm just stuck, so we're restarting it. We'll fix it in just a moment. Just hang tight. But yes, it is Fruck Awesome Friday here on NBNN. And of course, uh, welcome everybody. I'm go I've got a couple interesting announcements that'll be coming up here shortly, so we'll be telling you about them. Dev's going to come in and stop the show and change it to Road Apples Friday. <laughs> No, the devs are not going to do anything like that. No, no, you never know what the heck's going to go on. They're going to do nothing. <laughs> yes, well, uh, I, I, I will wait for a few more people, but uh, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Let's get us fixed. Go ahead and repin us up here the way yeah. we're supposed to be. If I can, what the heck happened? Now my zoom over what? here is not responding. There we go. Pin one, pin two. My no. name is not technical difficulties. Both, both of them were flashing down there like, what the hell is going on? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if this worked and we got our stuff back. Let's see if I'm back. Yes, I am. Hey, how are you? Don't know what happened there, but oh well, we are back. But uh, yes, Fruck Awesome Friday, gotta get a pet to give away today. Wait, what the heck is going on here? I don't know, what are you doing? I'm going to switch windows and the windows down on my bar just all flashing. Like, you know, they, they don't want to change, they don't want to move, they're just flashing like I don't get it. You know, like they're not coming up the way they're supposed to come up. They're so all I, vying for attention. Yeah, you know, when I try and change over to Shroud of the Avatar window, it just flashes down there. I've never seen this behavior uh -huh. on a PC before. Never. Never. So changing windows is going to be know. a bitch I, today. I, I, I have no idea what you're doing, man. Okay. You go to your taskbar, and you select the program, and it pops up on your window. Well, mine's not doing that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It just sits there and flashes. Yeah. I don't know why, so anyway, it's going to be a little difficult. You're uh, already hey, doing something. Eagle, how you all doing out there? Mm. All right, well, I guess I'm going to start telling everybody this. Uh, I'm going to be changing things up a little bit for all you folks out there. And I'm going to be changing up the subscriber rewards and race. 
and okay. reason behind this is uh, after yesterday I noticed we had a whole bunch of subs and I looked at all those subs and you know I realized that the folks at Twitch are taking like half of our money oh yeah and yeah. you know what I'm tired of giving somebody else half of the donations that you folks give to us so I am going again. I am going to do away with that, and I am going to ask that you no longer subscribe to this channel. I'm going to ask that if you want to support this channel, put a bits. $5 sub on Patreon or donate 500 bits. And I'm going to start taking everybody who's a patron $5 or more, and I'm going to take everybody who... Does 500 bits at a time. You can't do 100, 100, 100, 100 because I can't keep track of all that. I can write down when you give us 500 and add you to that yeah, list. Yeah, give but, him a break. He's old. Um, yeah, there's just no way to track it like that. Yeah, you, you, you want to try and track 2 bits, 69 bits, a bit, a bit, a bit, 100 bits. You can bits. easily write yeah. a program. Oh, yeah, well, you write me the program that'll do it. Anyway, anybody doing that will, uh, and this month again, anybody who's already subbed will be in. Yeah, real simple, Spiff, until you ask to do it, right? I know. No, you can really do it. What language you want it in? I don't know. What Why language? Cobalt. What language does Twitch use? I don't know. I do what, not what know. What language does, uh... Fortran would probably be easier. That has a built-in sorter. Yeah, I would prefer it in assembly language, so that, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, real quick, real f fast, real efficient, no bullshit, you know, but anyway. Okay, have you ever typed in assembly? No, because, uh, again, me, me and semicolons don't get along, hence why I am not a programmer today. I spent many, and many weekends in my Horse basement spelling. on my Commodore VIC-20 Typing in those programs from PC Gamer Magazine only to yeah, have wasted that a once. weekend. That was so much fun. I <laughs> had to translate a freaking book, and what did I get? I got some cheesy Star Trek game. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm just not doing that. That's all. 500 and change pages of code, and you get Star Trek. <laughs> hey, you know, I wouldn't mind Star Trek. I really just don't understand this behavior here today. Yep. But anyway, as uh, last night, as last night, while well, you were all sleeping, at least some of us weren't sleeping, there was a database migration. Now, <laughs> this really doesn't make a whole a <laughs> lot of comprehension to me, so we're going to try and make some heads or tails of it. <laughs> and uh, what are you laughing at? Like, uh, I I'm, I'm laughing that uh, of the uh, the updates what updates what update there was no update today hmm? keep going yeah what updates what updates no keep going okay i'm looking for the post that i don't see now so i'm looking for it it was here last night there it is Pis permission migration issue because i don't think i put this one in uh this morning Come on, man. This is going to be a real pain in the ass today. All right. Problem is, anytime I want to switch a screen, I got to close another screen. This is really a pain in the ass. But uh, let's get this up on screen for folks. Yep. <clears throat> And up on screen, uh, this actually started July 25th as part of the release. Items on blocks marked private, uh, but, but private for tenants were not correctly migrated, blah, blah, blah. Well, last night, Lord Subtleton come on and they uh, did a shutdown, did a migration. And uh, Jack, can you read this and tell me if this makes any sense to you? Maybe Nothing. read it out loud to the to the good folks for us. We made a change to item permissions last night to effect. No, not that, that one. Not that one. Which one do you want? Hey, the one from last night. 
Yeah. Eagle! Thank you very much. And yes. You, you mean the one that you did not in link to? The one I just linked. The one below that. The one that Subtle, Subtle Tin posted below Burning Toads. That one that I just posted, yes. Right. <laughs> not the Tonight top post. Performed. We yes, perform perform part one. two of the data migrations related to the switch over to the new permission systems. That's the part one. Three, but really, who's counting? The earlier migration marked some items for private under the new system when they had been marked private under the old permission system. That had the effect of making some items inaccessible to some who previously had access. The new systems considered private is in a much more stricter sense than the old system. Today's migration adds a flag to the affected items so that they behave as they did under the old system. Okay, so we did a whole rewrite of the permission system, dumped it in on you. It didn't work, so we backtracked and... Uh, what's the word uh, I'm looking for? Made it backward compatible. Yeah. Is that is that about right? I I just don't get it. They they just put the old stuff in and patched it that way. I I don't understand what they did here. No, nothing, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know what? <laughs> Let's please have a plan, and let's go ahead and communicate that plan to everybody, and then let's go ahead and tell everybody what we're going to be doing, so that way they know what to expect. And um, from there, please let us go ahead and um, make sure okay, that our so expectations th are This being doesn't met. make any sense to you, is what you're telling me, instead of going off on a tangent. <laughs> what I'm saying is... <clears throat> I know this what you're saying. Complete. It's not relevant to this. I want to know what you think of this in front of us. It's I don't want to know what you think as a whole. I just want to know this topic right now. It's fucking stupid. It's, yeah. it, we're we're going to continue breaking things because we don't play the game. All right. Moving right along. Yes, Eagle. Absolutely. The X Files theme stuff. All right, so yep. popular topics out there. We've got somebody who's requesting mineable nodes in player dungeons. Okay, and of course, uh, I got a good laugh. I know Caffius got a good laugh. I know a bunch of other people are still getting a good laugh out of this, but uh, of course, I would like my dungeon to be a mine. I would like to have the ability to have copper, iron, silver, and or gold ore nodes. Maybe some gem node types as well. Please make this happen. Help me realize yeah, my like desire. I'd like to get free money too. Yeah, yeah. Why, why don't you just... Uh, <laughs> let, let's just give everybody a thousand gold, silver, every ore, every day. If I pay every nine dollars a month, I get fifty, <laughs> to like, you know, nine hundred gold or silver ore. Hey, now there's an idea, Spiff. Really make it pay to play. <laughs> yes, uh, have you tried the uh, the mine basement out there, Rowell? It's a mine yeah. basement out there, but of course, uh, you're not going to get anything out of the mine basement either. Noob Skyblabber, thank you for the I don't know, they might the throw bits. some granite blocks our way. Yeah, no, there was talk of that early on. There was talk of actually putting uh, ore nodes and nodes inside POTs. There was all sorts of stuff talked about which never actually happened, and uh, I don't ever expect it to happen. So uh, you can keep dreaming on that one because, uh, you know, I mean, I was shocked when they put uh, mobs in basements, and apparently... There's this new leech uh, spawner that Chris has added now that I saw some, some mention of yesterday. Oh, there, there's leeches in the game now? Uh, yeah, leeches. You know, those blood-sucking things you put on you? Yeah. 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 So, so what's this new le <laughs> leech spawner? He's got a new spawner, supposedly. Again, uh, 
he supposedly gave one away and that person's the only one in the game to have one yesterday. I don't know if he pulled it off because again, all I heard was a mention briefly. I can't sit around for an hour or two hours or three hours whenever Chris decides he wants to stream because again, um, I'm going to point out, Chris, you nailed it. That's right. If you're going to stream, you got to do it on a schedule. You got to be very, very regimented and do it so that people know. Okay, popping in here, popping in there, doing one hour, doing two hours. If you're going to do a stream every day, do a stream for a set amount of time. Do, do it the same time every day because I tell you what, that's the one piece of advice that people gave us when we first started and we took it to heart. And yes, you'll find us every day right here at noon, Mondays through Fridays. Except when we don't, don't want to be. Except for whenever we don't want to be, that's right. But, uh, you know, and again, we've asked, we've asked, we asked, and it's going to be another plea here this Friday. Documentation, please. Please give us notes on everything. Please give us stand-up notes like you used what? to. Please are, are you give you us Oracle, like Oracle Watcher, Watcher updates like you used to. Give us something, please. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, it's like, imagine that. What happens when you, you let people know what's going on? Well, what happens when you don't let people know what's going on is people like you and I get to tell people whatever it is we think we heard, and we just go from there because, you know, uh, there's nothing written down to point to. There's nothing we can lawyer you guys with, and I'm sure some yep. some special DLMB guys got a hand in that. Yeah, if we don't write it down, they can't lawyer us. So, is uh, yeah. Yes. Unfortunately, it's like as soon as it's posted on the internet, it's everywhere. Yeah. Now, speaking to which, uh, another topic uh, that was put in was the bulk set item permissions topic, which again I did drop in there. And uh, it was asked that this be noted into the player guide. And uh, Lord Subtleton comes in last night and adds yet another quip. Uh, we made changes to item permissions last night that effectively grandfathered item permissions from the old system. The bulk item permissions feature was added as a R68 only. Uh, now with this new migration, there may be no need for the slash command now. If you find you still need to bulk adjust permissions, well, you know what? Uh, really? Really? We, we just put it in for this release, but, you know, uh, we think it's fixed. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what. Document it. Leave it. If people want to use it, because, you know, it's there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get it. Document it! Please! Yep. Because, uh, it's all documented everywhere. Not. <sighs> yep. But moving right along, yes, hey, it is there's Friday. There, there, I, I want you to remember there's a plan, we just don't know what it is. That's right. Speaking of the plan, what's today's live stream? Today's live stream on uh, scenes that are being redone for the seventh time. Um, AKA uh, that scene <clears throat> that was redone and uh, redone and redone. Uh, I don't see anything about redone. I see new scenes. Or are they calling... <clears throat> Ulfheim is... It was at Redone. this moment that he knew. He fucked this up. This week, List Rostov and Sanyo are going to talk about some of the new scenes that they have been working on, like the rework of Wolfheim. I don't see that in this. I don't know why. Where are you seeing that? Oh, uh, if you actually click on the uh, new, Read more. Scenes, li new scenes live stream today. I'm looking at new person. live streams today. I've got it right there. Another compact another content ah, okay i see it now okay yeah second sentence yeah okay so uh sanyo's been working on all five for i don't know almost two three, three months now three months three yeah. months yeah. three months because i know i've seen a lot of work and it it's the third or fourth live stream related to it yeah um i don't get it <laughs> anyway 
Yes, uh, also last night, for those of you who were waiting for your August release rewards, they finally showed up after the uh, migration last night. Oh, so, man, you, that login reward oh, is that that fucking potion? phenomenal. Did, 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 any, did anybody say. ever open theirs to actually see what it does yet? Does anybody um, actually know? I, Can we I, get... I opened it to see whether or not it was just that one thing or if there was more <laughs> and holy shit i am extremely ecstatic about the contents of the this month's login rewards i it is so i mean i i am in fucking awe of the entire um you heard it right here he's in yeah, awe yeah. i tell you yeah. But you know what? It's probably we're always sitting here it's, getting through it's, all this. We've gotten over our donations from marbles, and people are clamoring for marbles out there in chat, going, "Where's the marbles?" And, yeah, sorry. It, it, it's it's six fire potions. Is uh, we, we, we had we had to get a couple things out to you guys. Unlike yesterday, where we went all marbles and a little news, we have to get some of this news out. But yes, loading up marbles. What are, they, what are these fire potions? Are they reskinned <laughs> explosion potions again? No, they are immolation in a bottle. Is basically yeah. what it is. Immolation in a bottle. Eagle, if you would be so kind it, as to give me a lasts. track number between one and fifty. Hey, Jack. It lasts for 10 minutes. It does 3 to 7 fire damage every 2 seconds for 8 seconds. Plus 25 damage resist for 10 minutes. And 2 to 3 fire damage every 2 seconds for 8 seconds. 11. So it, it, it is something that it it does have. Um, there, there are 6 of them. Okay, so it's 6 immolation potions. That's what you get. Unlike eight yeah. slices of cake this and, month, and, uh, it's six immolation potions. Yeah, but does it stack with standard emolliation or not? I've I've heard somebody Probably say not. that it did, but that was uh, just, I guess, in jest because they hadn't been rewarded yet. So why don't you go yeah. waste one and let us know? <laughs> they, they are bound to character, so they're completely useless. I mean, I mean uh, uh, hey. I didn't even get the one, uh, what's his name reward the last time it came out. The one dance. I uh, never got it. The hustle? Open. Yeah, I never got the hustle. Open my little bag, no hustle ever appeared in my little dance screen. Did, did you check your emotes? Yes, I did check my emotes. Well, oh, I would have I I, I slash bugged that. Meanwhile, we got track 11 loaded up. Everybody wants to play. Uh, I even did a, a race or two with uh, no people. And yeah. So let's click start and three, two, one, start. Yay! Yeah, well, I would double check that, Spiff. You go into your emotes and take a look, see if the hustle's there. If not, I'd bug yeah, I'm gonna it. I'm going to hit the O, which should bring up my emotes window. Yeah. There it is. And I slowly we sift down to H. Yep. And what do you see? I okay, see no nothing. No I've hustle. Got the head, hands, head bang, whole, heavy whole pack, uh, hold hands, hug, hula, huzzah, and I heart you. And you got the other stuff. You got the hat and you got the other. No, what hat am I supposed to get? A hustler hat and... No, I didn't get the hustler hat either. Well, then it sounds like you didn't subscribe is what it sounds like. <laughs> no, I did not subscribe. Oh, well, what are you complaining about? If you didn't subscribe, you don't get those rewards. Those are subscriber rewards. Those weren't free rewards. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm not worried. <laughs> By like Tempest, kicking ass as always. I tell you, whenever you put this girl in a race, whoa, she's shooting down. Ekonda said, uh-uh, but I think Twilight's right behind him. When I logged in this morning, though, it said I got a fire potion. 
Right, that's login rewards. Login rewards and subscriber rewards are two totally separate things. One you pay for, oh, okay. one you get for free. Like this month's subscriber rewards, we'll get to those right after the race. I was just getting to that when I realized that people were yelling at us for not playing marbles like we were supposed to be doing. They've been yelling at us marbles for a good stuff. 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It, it's worth a lot of money. It's it, it's it's fun. I don't believe so. Any Dragon condos? Ball Xenoverse two. Now that's fun. Looks like he's taking uh, taking the lead. Oh, Eagle just comes smashing down, trying to catch up. But uh, Ekondis, uh, let's see. A little mini bowling alley action, like here. Yep. See if anybody can catch Ekondis here. Eagle almost had him, but they all got caught up. Every everybody's caught up on these obstacles. Twilight coming down, jumping right past. <laughs> Never count out Twilight. Uh -oh. Ekondis is gonna win over on my screen. Or is it gonna be me? It's gonna be Ekondis. Oh Salty uh -oh. Cheese uh -oh. Ball. Yep, Ekondis won. Salty cheese ball comes from behind and with the win. I love that name, salty cheese ball. Mmm, chocolate salty mm. balls. <laughs> you do know that December is when they start putting them in the stores, the cheese balls. Uh, no, because we get them around here. I can go to Costco and get a five pound bucket any day of the week. <laughs> Salty Cheese Ball, what is your in-game name? Because I'm not familiar with that name in-game, that's for sure. Uh. <laughs> well, Laz is trying to figure out that out. The subscription rewards for this month... Salty Cheese Ball is his actual name. Nine dollars. <laughs> per month is going to be the Lord British Round Shield, the Lord British Leather Helm, and the Lord British Silver Serpent Spear. Those three items will be making it their way to subscribers sometime in the near future. Yes, on, on your anniversary date i believe it is whatever date it is that you subscribe don't forget that uh, you don't have to stay subscribed either um you can subscribe and unsubscribe just to get the rewards for any given month and uh, just get that month's reward so if you're one of them people who doesn't like automatic payments being ripped out of your bank accounts and, uh, you know, you forget about stuff like that, then you can just sub and unsub and you're done. So don't, don't sweat the small stuff there either. You can always do that if you want whatever those rewards are. Yep. All right. Salty cheese balls. You now have your scrolls. Congratulations to you. And of course, I knew I was missing something. I had to get a pet to give away today. What are we going to give away? What are we going to give away? How about a, a chicken? I got a duck. Tell you what, a Palomino horse for starters. How about that? Because one of these days, we hope that you'll be able to actually use those. You want a cow? One of these days, we might be able to ride a horse. No, Ride a horse a, or, uh, you know. Use fertilizer or pick locks. Make, yeah, make, get fer get fertilizer out of them or, yeah. yeah, something like that. Exclamation, I love free shit for your chance to get in on that Palomino horse. And, uh, okay. Let's see if that clears things up. Nope, not yet. Don't know what the problem is there still. Don't know what the problem is. Who's this on lot? Vosh Halen.
Uh, oh yes, I do have one other announcement. While we are uh, we we are awaiting some official artwork, but uh, we have a new sponsor. We're going to be uh, profiling up there. It's Caffius's Wares out in Shroud Marketplace. Uh, Caffius is uh, promoting his shop because he's yeah, got to okay. uh, he's got to pay for okay. some braces for some childrens out there, and of course Caffius is where has got all sorts of great stuff available on his shop. But uh, again, uh, this is just the uh, preview because uh, he's got to get me all sorts of information as to exactly what it is he wants me to tell you all about. But of course, happy to have Caffius' wares as part of our sponsors out there. And of course, don't forget, if you want to be a sponsor of the show, you want us to talk about you during the sponsor period, or any other period during the show, we have packages available for you folks out at Patreon.com. And of course, you can uh, view those packages, see what you want, and uh, also comes with some pretty spiffy... Uh, physical goods as well. Yeah, get out there well. and view those packages. That's right. You gotta view Jack's package because, you know, he's That's always, right. he's always showing his package off. Package. Yeah. package. Go to any event and Jack's always showing off his package. Yep. He's usually got his 8-inch cock with him, too. I've got something. Got something. Got something. But Eagle just won a uh... My 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 race. So patch notes, patch notes, patch notes. Big patch yeah, notes out there. Another exhausting. Uh, uh, I don't know. Comprehensive. Can you, can, can you handle these? List then? of patch notes. You can't handle the patch notes. Yeah, comprehensive list of everything fixed in the in the most recent patch of. 1024 where they fixed an issue with not being able to remove dungeon pieces and player created dungeons yep yay yeah yes uh, again there was really no patch last night it was just a database migration but uh, of course for those mm -hmm. of you playing with it yeah now what else did we have in the news? Oh yeah, we've got the uh, Crown Shop updates. Uh, is anybody? Yeah, uh, I'm I'm laughing at this one today. Uh, let's verify. Well, it's we, we do need to look in game at the Crown Shop. Um, then we need to go to um, something because uh, according to Star, you've got some some pictures. Of unicorns and uh, a family uh, of some players and then you've got other things like uh, the vault having uh, the empty ro land row home for ten dollars fog Did we tell them about, about that about yesterday? yesterday creature paintings six oh, new paintings. can I laugh at them now because <laughs> they thought they were gonna get that empty lot for free mm -hmm. yeah creature paintings six new paintings to depicting creatures including unicorns Portrait paintings, eight new paintings depicting characters in different clothing and armor have been added to the ground shop. Then you have the vault. Step further and get unicorn mannequins. Oh yay! That way yeah. we can paint them different colors and put little little tattoos on their ass. Well, then you end up uh, having people riding the horn or shooting no, rainbows out them. of their ass. Oh, you can ride the horn. <laughs> You can find a way to do that. That's right. If Ekandas can find a way to ride a mushroom, I'm sure he'll find a way to ride a unicorn horn. Yep, and then you've got a bunch of uh, vault items for things that um, never made the spectacle score in the first place with the spyglass, the admiral's outfit, ad, uh, admiral's hat, the brindle greyhound, the anchor house decoration, rope boat house decoration, longboat, dry dock decoration, and the tower village home. With the wrong, uh, I, I guess uh, Star did update the uh, artwork for that. Your cousin was another wave uh, of people complaining yeah, it, about crap. Is that the Wizard Tower? That one is that the right one there? Um, so if we actually go look at the uh, the vault, 
I'm looking at the vault. Uh, yeah, it's it's the, got the yeah, okay, he's got the right the, pictures. It's got the He's got the wizard tower. He's got the wizard tower on there, but the tower village home. He's got the right artwork in the post for the tower home, but what's on sale is the wizard tower, which is completely different. What's the That's difference? That's the one tower I actually like, the wizard tower. The wizard tower has the teleporter, um, whereas the the vault home has a bunch of useless space in it. It looks like there's actually like rooms when there isn't. Oh, okay. you mean the ones you can't put anything I, I, in? I see the yeah. teleporter in the other pictures. Um, go look at the forum post. Yeah. On the forum post, that house does not have a teleporter oh, in it. That, that's that's not the wizard tower. This one there. That is correct. Yeah, this that is, is not the, the wizard that, tower. That is that is the tower village home. Yes. Okay. Which he says is on sale, but in game it's the wizard tower. Well, let's see. Let's go back and look at that. Does he say tower village home? Yes, he does. Okay, so he's got the right. Uh, I don't know. The, maybe he wanted the wizard tower. Maybe he needs to add wizard. Yeah, don't know. Uh, oh, I can What's tell you. What's the damn problem? Damn problem is there's no notes. And there I'm is. Just, I just I just got your message. I'm looking now. Okay, and then I was gonna Here's say my wizard tower um, show uh, uh, shop shop. What about it? What about or my what wizard about? tower greenhouse? Well, that would be tough. That would be tough. Need under underground greenhouses. But yes, the admiral's outfits, the very very rare admiral's outfits, are now in the vault again i i gotta say how much i dislike this vault uh you know i don't get it reskin hey well, they, they obviously just don't give a shit Laz. well i figured that one out you know because we've been screaming for reskins recolor re something instead of just adding vault edition because as everybody knows when you're wearing it Nobody can see it's a vault edition, so uh, I don't understand how this makes it okay. That's all. Just don't get it, brother. Yep. Don't get it. But again, gonna warn everybody to double check your permissions again today. Uh, if you uh, checked them the other day, I suggest going to your stained glass window, going down to your item permissions, and, and I, making sure. I I don't your know if you, you realized that what they did if you uh the integration of the sketchfab thingy what about it um go look at the admiral outfit and then notice that it now dynamically updates what you are wearing where that was broken before let me see uh admiral vault so go into the admiral's outfit click on click on so you've got the gentlemen's or the woman's uh then click on the small <laughs> icon that's funny <laughs> what it puts me in there with the what? admirals ah. that's funny so that th that used to n not be the case but they have fixed that finally laz i have your answer for you yes what is the answer the answer is that in during one of our uh, staff meetings about three months ago, four months ago, uh -huh. that we made the decision that we made the decision that we were not going to let those late bloomer. Ah, uh, uh, I see where the screw up is. Yeah, tell me. I, I got it now. I got it. I was going to say, I, I know it wasn't August 2nd, that's for sure. <laughs> I got it. I got it. We weren't going to let them go past a certain date, but it, you know, we have to actually sell a couple first before we do uh, a cutoff. <laughs> so, Trick Steve, you were never limited to one prosperity tool. Uh, I have a full set. All, all the tools in my inventory are prosperity tools. Now, you can only use one at a time. Yes. Um, so, But you can have more than one prosperity tool. More than one? 
Yeah. yeah, so let's go ahead and bring that up for anybody who's interested because I keep mine hidden. I don't know about you guys, uh, but a show equip tools. And then uh, there we go. There's the whole list of prosperity tools. You can load these up, carry them around with you. And yes, you can have all the prosperity tools that you want um, on your character. Now, what the new change is on that is they've made them heritage items. They've made them cheaper, which again, ticked off a yeah. whole lot of people. And they've made them untradeable. So anybody and everybody and their dog can now have them at a cheaper price than the people who were promised special stuff. Um, I, I, and I, yeah. and the, the weird thing is, prosperity tools were on the shop and they were also pledge rewards. Correct. But they were a mint price uh, for a reason. To keep everybody and their dog from having them. I thought that was the original argument on it. I mean, I, that's they what were. I remember. Was they well, were priced... They wanted the dog to have them. Well, that's was, that the was the too. original thought. Was, you know, not everybody was going to spend money on that in order to get them. And now it's become exact opposite. Let's give the whiners what they want. I don't get it. Yeah. You know. Again, I don't get it. But uh, you know, you can now um, get your prosperity tools we, we, cheaper. We can talk about all kinds of different things, and then we will be perplexed as much as humanly possible because we don't understand what the hell is going on. We don't know nothing. No notes. Yeah. You're not the only one. I don't think anyone else over there knows what's going on either. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, they know. They just ain't telling us. No. That's all. No, 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 yeah. I, I, I know that. List just got you know a year's worth of work on his desk, but he ain't telling us what it is he's working on. So, yeah. But uh, yeah. meanwhile, moving right along, let's go ahead and pull this first giveaway. We'll do another one real quick after this. Mm -hmm. Pick ourselves a winner. Crafty method. Congratulations! You are the proud owner. Of a Palomino horse. Congrats. Yes. Crafty. <clears throat> Let's get this out to Crafty Method. Now, is that his in game name, Crafty Method? It's, it's Hector. Hey, Hector. Now again, that I'm gonna, exactly what it is. gonna make the announcement to everybody just one more time. I am rescinding the subscriber rewards race, and we are changing that up. Uh, after seeing yesterday how much Twitch takes out of our subscribers for themselves, fifty percent uh, off of 50%, every fifty percent. Uh, I am now gonna be asking everybody to stop subscribing to my stream. And instead, either use bits, bits or become a patron at $5 a month. If you're going to give us $5 and then give Twitch 250 you know what? I'd rather you give us $5 in the Patreon and then we get to keep that. So, um, yeah, I just hate seeing... Yeah. Again, I appreciate what they do, but when they sell you bits, they take their money off the top and they get their money. So I don't feel bad about that. Um, yeah, but taking 50% of subscribers, I got a problem with that, so. That's why what's his butt went to Mixer. What's that? Uh, a guy named Ninja went to Mixer. Well, that, and they also paid him to go over there. Well, yeah. But yes. Trick Steve, yeah, I've never been a f big fan. We use it because it was a means to an end. Back in the day, we were streaming to uh, many places at once. At one time, weren't we streaming to like three different places at once? We were going to Twitch, to YouTube, and something else. It, it was just Twitch and YouTube. Was it just the two? I thought we had three yeah. at one point. And, and then our, our, our number of people that were streaming or uh, watching on YouTube live was like one. Nobody? One yes. on a lucky day. So now, like, again, yeah. I've thought of all sorts of ways to uh, finagle with this, whether we do a stream or go just over to YouTube or what have you. But uh, most everybody seems uh, that uh, they like Twitch over YouTube for live streams for some reason. I don't know why that is, but... Uh, it's a little yeah. bit better. <clears throat> What's I that? Mean, 
it's a it is actually a little better. Yeah, well, not again, to censor, but now they do. I, I'm I'm well, not a well, big they've fan. Always, they've always censored poorly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of how they do that one, but I was never a big fan of YouTube um, after they decided that, you know, I was a partner before being a partner was fashionable. And then they decided that you needed to have X amount of this and X amount of that. And I never was worried about gathering followers or gathering numbers because I just figured it would happen naturally. And most of our stuff has been all natural. We didn't bloat anything. We got all of our followers, all the subscribers um, through just natural generation, people talking about it. I'm not out there advertising. I'm not pushing it down people's throat to be, be a, you know, a subscriber on YouTube. And all of a sudden, they decide to change it up and pull our monetization and pull all that stuff. And that, too, pissed me off on YouTube. So oh, yeah. um, I can't say that I'm willing to uh, go back to streaming over there until mm -hmm. such time as we have over a thousand followers. So uh, uh, I haven't uploaded a video to. Uh, yeah, I know. You, you haven't saved a video to anywhere in about a year. Uh, almost a year. Yeah, it's like at fuck, least. Fuck fuck them <laughs> so yeah again uh very very little for monetization for us there until we get over a thousand subscribers and just out of curiosity let me go take a look over here what is the subscriber and they can count? still demonetize if you say say anything that's conservative versus democrat yeah well fuck that noise yeah we say all sorts of shit here you know is I, I've thought about going on YouTube and doing a, a political stream just for giggles and grins, but, uh, yeah. We got 602, so I only need 398 more subscribers in order to be able to start monetizing again. So if you're not a subscriber to our channel on YouTube, please, you know, click that button, hit the sub button, hit the notify button, do appreciate it. Kind of get back there because uh, that does bring significant ad revenue. I know we're never going to get a million followers, that's for sure. Never going to get that 100,000 YouTube button, I know that much. But hey, a guy can dream. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've seen single so, so guys just doing their little rants and stuff. They got 100,000. Took them a few years, but they got there. Well, you know, again, uh, I figured when the game took off, we, you know, I know we're a niche market to begin with, uh, with the MMO market. Um, I know that uh, for Richard Gary, it makes it even more of a niche market, but I figured, you know, there had to be a couple million Richard Gary fans out there who might have been interested in um, the, the sheer numbers cool. of 200 plus thousand who signed up to follow this thing were, uh, you know, pretty hopeful at first, but, uh, you know, whether those 200,000 are actually playing the game, nobody knows, because, again, we don't have any numbers to, uh, to refer to, as it may be. It's probably about 2,000 people playing. Well, again, I know that there's, uh, yeah, you know, two. I, I know, well, again, let's see here, noon on Friday, let's y see. Yes, you have, you have to pay taxes on Twitch revenue. Unfortunately. So I looked up NBNN. You guys have another sister news broadcasting company that's got nothing to do with it. That's not us. That's, oh, um, it, that's some Israeli, Palestinian, actual news people uh, who it, came you're around You're talking after about the us. Indian? Yeah, the Indian it, is it Indian? Yeah, it's I, Indian. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Yeah. They've got 18,000 subscribers, though. What the hell is your problem? Uh -huh. Yeah, well, they're an actual new news broadcast over in their country. They're they're terrestrial airwaves, man. They're broadcasting to the masses out there. And, yeah. and then uh, sounds like you need to get some hardware. Uh, oh I yeah, don't know. yeah. I, I think we need to confuse nbnn.com dot com more frequently. Yeah, really. Get some accidental subs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, uh, you don't want to go to nbnn.com. Well, you might M want to go, you, you might want to I, go to nbnn.com, but I, I, I don't know. I, I have not been to nbnn.com in a while, so I <laughs> Neither have I. I try not to. <clears throat> mm. 
Now, Ekandis, yes, like Jack said, you do have to pay taxes on the revenue, but there is a big if and in and there. dot com is no longer a porn site. Oh, okay. Is uh, yeah. you have to pay taxes on the revenue if it breaks the tax revenue generation. Um, if you're pretty, making pretty over you six, taxes. if you're making over six hundred dollars a year or whatever it is, uh, yeah, then then yes, you pay the taxes. If you're not making dick. Then, you know, again, depends on what your country's laws are uh, on what, what the tax minimums and maximums are. So, um, like, uh, PayPal. PayPal's pretty interesting. PayPal, you have to break uh, 200-plus sales or $20,000 before they 1099 you. Um, why that is when I think the minimum, I think I said 600. I think it's 6,000 is actually the number. Um, Standard if, induction. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, whatever the number is, uh, you got to break the threshold in order for it to be taxable first and them sending you the tax information. So um, if you're not making much money, you're not paying really any taxes. If you're making a shit ton of money, uh, and we, we, know, we know a very popular streamer who got in trouble that way back in the day. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it happens. Yep. So what is NBNN.com? Is it available? Um, it's cyber scouting. It's you what? You can try it. It's a, it, you can send them like $50 to inquire about purchasing the domain. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, What's, what what comes up here? I just got to see <laughs> what comes up. Unregistry. Use our buy domain. name. Oh, well, fuck that. I got a better way to do that. <laughs> well, it, they're cyber squatting it. That's what it is. Well, again, I, I, I can just, uh, let's see. They'll probably try to charge several thousand dollars for it. Uh, NBNN.com is taken. Domain broker service, but it's not telling me what they're listing. Yeah, they they want fifty dollars just for to look at it, which is bullshit. <laughs> yep. Which is bullshit. I ain't giving you fifty dollars to give me a price. Either give me the price or get the hell out of my face. That's okay. We don't need a dot com for that. We're not commercial. Or are we? No. <laughs> No, we're not. All right. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give away uh, an Obsidian Wolf pet here for the end real quick. Exclamation. I love free shit. Get in on this. this is only lasting eight minutes because that's all we time we've got left today in today's show. Where does the time go? Of course, got to tell you about that app, the NBNN Tragedy Avatar app, recently updated. I keep it as updated as I can, but uh, time is running short in this app. I, I'm really thinking about not upping it again uh, this year. So uh, if you guys have uh, a liking for the app, let me know, because otherwise I'm going to probably retire this one and look at a new one. But uh, we shall see. But uh, don't forget, it's available in the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store. Also available on the website for you. If you don't have any fancy dancy devices like Spiffy and his Kindle, you can listen to the radios, you can read the Daily Britannian, you can shop the marketplaces, you can hit us up in Discord, or you can find out what's going on in and around the game with the NBNN Shrouded Avatar Community Calendar, brought to us each and every day by our good friends at Hometown Hero. That's right. Go to nbnn.info, click on the calendar link, and look at that aggregated mess of all the Google public calendars related to Shroud that that guy knows about. If you have a Google public calendar related to Shroud and you want it hooked up, email news at nbnn.info, and eventually he'll do something with it. Or message him in uh, Discord. See what happens. <laughs> All times in the community calendar are since the time in the real real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia time. Monday through Friday, 12s and 6s is around the clock. You can always tune in your ether amplifiers to Witty or Radio Free Britannia to listen to two idiots interpreting the news so you don't have to. A little show called Lunch with it us. Does. 7 o'clock this evening, 
Weighty of Radio Free Britannia has the 70s at 7. And that's followed up at 10 p.m. with the Wekud Womb with Waz's Wad on Weighty of Radio Free Britannia. WRFB. Starts off Saturday morning, way too early in the morning, 6 a.m. Wake up, New Britannia, with Wolfton and Justin. At 4 p.m., EVL is doing their Virtual League PvP tournament out in the town of Virtual Oasis. Hey. Don't know if they still have the multiple tiers of PvP goodness. It's been a long time since the I believe they hi. do. I have no idea. Six o'clock, Fionn Wind Wildman is going to be doing Wild Safari with Stitcher Love on Weighty or Radio Free Britannia. Love. That's right. She takes us to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Starts off 1230 with Astronomy Night. And our friend Bone Bloodgood out in the town of New Britannia Market. Uh, One says, o'clock. It says Care Drockbridge. What? He changed it? But it says. Uh, <laughs> in New Britannia. Uh, yeah. Uh, whatever. They, they, they changed to what location? Updated! <clears throat> I, I, I haven't expanded that in a long time. I know you. One have. o'clock, you've got a swap <laughs> meet. And the final event for this evening, uh, or for this weekend, Tuesday afternoon at 2 p.m., EVL's doing an upper tiers XP run. Tuesday. And that's it. Yep. You mean Sunday. 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 Sorry. Ticket sale, sales are back up. All righty. Very cool. Let's go ahead and look at that. Let's refresh this. <clears throat> because they weren't there just a little while ago, but let's just go ahead and bring this up for you I folks. Believe- there it is. Late Bloomer tickets now available through October 2nd this year. And of course, this is your last chance to get tickets to the Shroud of the Avatar International Convention. And of course, uh, those are available. So to icon.org for more information. You're tuning in to us right here at nbn.info, twitch.com tv slash genesis twitch.tv slash nbnn news plenty of ways to donate but please do not subscribe to this channel anymore plenty of other ways to do it without somebody taking 50 percent of our money yeah he don't care if they take 50 percent of his money he just wants it's money fi- yeah. it's 50 percent of zero is uh, <laughs> it's still zero that's right yeah. so but uh yes don't forget plenty of ways to do that the britannian mining company are they now open for business? Yeah, we're open. Oh, we, we're right. open back right. up for business. All right. Everybody's open back up for business. New, new permissions seem to have fixed the problems. Even again, you need a education in rocket science and mathematics to figure most of it out because it's a little too complicated for this boy. But the Britannia Mining Britannia Company... Money. BMC's fixed to put out a uh, <laughs> handbook, uh, permissions guide. Very cool. And as soon as you do that, please let us know so that we can uh, point people to it and uh, we have it on reference uh, for everybody. That'll be appreciated. Of course, don't forget to check out Black Rock Cove today for all your crafting good needs. Uh, Of course, our friends at hometownhero.com, check out all the discounts they got. Click the uh, links below. Purple Dragon Inns and Shroud Music, just a couple additional Sites for you to check out, relicsbyreal.com, still down last I checked, WRFB Radio Free Britannia, bringing you news and information 24-7, and of course my favorite sponsor, shroudmarketplace.com, because hey, when you got TMS syndrome, you got too much shit floating around, you want to get rid of some, go to shroudmarketplace.com, because that's the place to buy or sell all your goods right here no, in just hoard Avatar. it hoard it all hoard it nope. Bosh Halen thank you Sell for the bits you yeah know, I'm, I'm selling Shroud Market- all sorts of stuff I tell you I love this shit go to shroudmarketplace.com register an account and then click on vendor registration and become like one of the other 150 plus players registered at vendors and each one of those vendors is responsible for setting their own prices and maintaining their own inventory so if you have something you don't want it Put it up for sale, put it in a chest on a lot, or put it in your bank. Do all kinds of great things, and uh, from there, you know what? You can uh, 
uh, be like uh, uh, caffeine and caffeus's wares and put up like your belt of your troll lord or some uh, winter uh, powdered glass table lamp set like a Steimer shop or obsidian chips. Mm. Anything or everything can be bought or sold at Shroud Marketplace. And that's accounts to game gold, crowns of the obsidian, all the way to services. Any, if you can think of it, someone might want it. You can put it up for sale at Shroud Marketplace as long as it's not a bannable offense. That's and, right. Uh, you got to love it when you get paid for your stuff. Because, uh, yeah, you, you know what? Uh, hey, I do my best work lying down. I tell you I, what. I, I, I will be honest. I have to actually report my income from Shroud Marketplace every year. Oh, of course, you know, it's, yeah, you're, doing, yeah. you're doing that kind of uh, sales out there. I know, man. It's, like, it's, it's great. It is a job. <laughs> it is a job. Hey, when, when you when you get multiple sales right, a week. Go to Shroud Marketplace yeah. and sign up for a job. Hey, basically, yeah. when you open up a store, you become your own business person. So, exactly. yes, you know, you're opening up a business when you sign up. You're selling, buying and selling goods, at least selling goods. Uh, that that makes it a business, right? Oh, absolutely. Ain't none yeah. of your damn business what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> As long as you deliver, as long as, you, as long as I ain't getting banned for it, I don't care. That's right. Yep. Now, don't forget all sorts of services also available. Don't forget the shop, Jack Shop. Don't forget the shop, my shop, and our newest sponsors, Caffius's Wares, out there on Shroud Marketplace. Of course, we'll have some artwork and stuff here, and hopefully by Monday for you, right, Caffius? Hopefully by Monday. <laughs> Hopefully. But meanwhile, Hopefully he's got some work, artwork. Yeah, well, he he said he was going to break out and do do uh, some of that stuff. So we're going to go ahead. Gonna, he's going to break out the paint. Yeah, he's going to go sniff the sniff the fumes from the paint. That's right. Got to thank yep. Eagle. Got to thank Fosh. Got to thank New Sky Blabber for their donations today. And of course, thank you all for being here on this. Rock Awesome Friday, August 2nd. Of course, don't forget, somebody's got a birthday this month, but uh, ain't telling Who? you when. <laughs> Who? And that's what Facebook's for, well, man. Well, it's not you. Because <laughs> yeah. you're in, what, September, aren't you? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. And uh, nobody wanted to get in on that giveaway, so we're going to pick from the two people we had in there. And Vach Halen, congratulations for the Obsidian Wolf Pit. Congratulations to you. And of course, thank you all for joining us. We'll be back with more on Monday right here on NBNN. Till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you all on Monday. <laughs>